.NET, that is the concept of implicit namespaces. And what do I mean by that? So let's have a look at this line over here, console.write9. We know that this comes from a namespace called system and can see using system to bring that namespace in. So do I don't have to write system.console. So I don't have to write it like this. Instead, I can just use the using statements. If I take this out over here, and if we have a look at this statement over here, which is using system, and you can see we are getting no errors because we're using the statement there. But if I take this statement out, you can see that I still don't get any error messages here. And if I were to run the program, so if I go here and run, and you can see it successfully compiles and runs the program. So there is the output that we expected and there are no errors. So why is it that I have commented out the line over here, but yet this still works, even though it's in the quiz in the system namespace. This is because of something called implicit usings within .NET. So if we have a look at the project files, if I go to Explorer, and then if we have a look at, so I am in project one over here, and this is my project one here. So I want to access the project file, so yes, project file for my project one. So if I click onto there, now here's something very important. So over here, you can see there is implicit usings and currently this is enabled. So if I were to disable this, so now you can see I have added the word disable here for the implicit usings over here. So now if we go back to our project, so I have now saved this here. Now if I go back to my project, you can see that it says console does not exist in the current context, so I cannot find it. So I can do is system.console to make the error go away. So that's why when I commented this line out before over here, this worked. This is because I had this implicit using over here as enabled, but now I've disabled it. We get this error message over here. So now I can add the usings here and you can see that's now a valid line and this now works and there are no errors and again i can comment this out over here and in change that to enable now this has been enabled for implicit usings over here and now if i go back over here you can see that i still get the error this is because i haven't saved the file so you can see the indicator here that i haven't saved it so if i press ctrl s to save this and you can see the error now goes away because that namespace works but the implicit namespaces do not always work but if i try and do this one which is comes from the json namespace so notice here the line is commented out and i'm getting an error here even though the implicit user is enabled. This is because for console application, JSON is unfortunately not one of those namespaces that Microsoft has decided to implicitly enable within your project. So for each different type of project, I'm using a console application project. The JSON namespace here is not enabled. So in order for that to work, I do actually have to use a using statement. And now you can see the error has gone away because this line has now been enabled. So which namespaces are actually automatically brought into a console application? So the namespaces that are brought into the console application uh, are the following. So you've got the systems, generics, IO, link, HTTP, threading, and tasks. These all are the ones for the console application that are automatically brought in. Notice that the JSON one is not, though this is different depending on the template that you're using. So if you are getting a weird error like this, where you actually, for example, are using a namespace that is not automatically brought in, it's not implicit, then you need to make sure you manually bring that in using the syntax. But if you're finding that actually, even though you've commented out a namespace like here, but the line still works, this is because of the implicit usings setting within your project have been enabled. So I hope this solves the mystery of implicit namespaces in .NET and in C Sharp for your console application.